Jade's Mansell here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys, it has been a minute now since I've done a wig from a brand. Now, I am going to try out another Tokyo Styles wig from Bellamy Hair. Yes, oh my God, Tokyo Styles, hairstylist of the stars. You may have seen her work recently in the new Cardi B Megan The Stallions video, WAP or WAG, depending on which version you listen to. Either way, it's a song that touched me deeply in my soul. I identified a lot with it, so I was inspired to do something that Tokyo has done. So I thought, why not dig up another wig from Bellamy? Yes! The wig I got today is, well, I can show you better than I can tell you. So, just give me a moment to bend over and get it. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Ugh. Okay. Tokyo Styles. Yes. It comes in a shoebox from Bellamy Hair. Now you guys may have seen this already. I got the Honey Child last time. This one is called the Night Rider and it is 26 inches. Yes, as opposed to the Honey Child, which was 32 inches, which proved to be a lot of hair and more hair than I was willing to work with. So I got a little shorter this time around. And they gave me a wig stand, which I'm already using. <laughs> and I also got a brush. Fun stuff, wig care guide, silk bag, lovely. Let's look at this wig. Oh, one of those stocking caps that I never use. All right, wig time. Oh, gorgeous. It is a deep, deep nightshade of blue, yes. And if you watch wrestling, it kind of looks like Sasha Banks' hair. Oh, get this out of here, make too much noise. All right. Gorgeous. All right. Oh, this is pretty. Well, I am going to take a deeper inspection on this wig. Well, no, that's not correct. I am going to make an investigative. No, it's not it either. I'm going to try the wig on. <laughs> right, I'll be right back. Ah, uh, yeah. It's boss time. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, I'm not mad at this. This is actually kind of a cute color on me, don't you think? I could pull off a Knight Rider blue. All right, and this long, bone straight hair. I used to be afraid of doing it, but now it's just like, you know, look at me, I'm an influencer. <laughs> I hit 100K and suddenly I can wear flat hair. I'm gonna see what this is like when I style it, okay? So we're gonna be right back and put this wig on a head. <laughs> All right, I am back. The wig is on a head. So Pause, before we start this video, we're gonna take a moment for our sponsor. Yes, 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 a moment for our sponsor. Play the video. Hey guys, James Mansfield here, and I put the man in Manscaped. <laughs> Be sure and get the perfect package 3.0. It lights up, and it's waterproof, and it comes with all this <laughs> Use my code JAMES20 or MANSFIELD for 20% of the purchase plus free shipping. <laughs> I came in here, shocker, I know, with a plan in mind. Yes. I'm gonna do a vintage victory roll style with a front rolled bang. Yes, yes, yes. So here we go. First things first, I gotta section off our bang area. Now this wig has a hard part set in it already. That's not gonna matter because I'm just gonna tease that away and just part this my own damn way, okay? I make the rules here, not the wig. And with bangs, all you wanna do is part a triangle. Like going, you know, like triangle, like boom, boom, pyramid. Try and get it as even as you possibly can. That'd be nice. I hear it. that looks good. All right. I hear things look good when you make sure they're even and you're actually neat with your work. All right, I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut off some hair. But first things first, we're gonna take this on the head and we're gonna do a little demo roll. That's how I want her to look. So I'm gonna cut off about this much of the hair. But you still need some hair there to tease down to give you some volume. So you don't want to cut it all short, leaving a little more length than you usually would. All right, now that's gonna get its own little sex in. Just gonna take a little thing like that and just clip it out of the way for now. All right, now for the back part, we're gonna do some more trimming too. So I have to raise this up a little bit. So just give me a moment. <sighs> Gotta do manual labor on this stupid chair. Ugh. <sighs> Okay, I think that's as high as it goes. Is it high in the frame? I oh, is. Well, maybe if I do, oh wait, these extend up, what am I doing? Okay, yes. Okay, that's fine. 
that's good for what I'm trying to do here. All right, we're gonna brush through the ends. You don't gotta do, oh, get over here, get down here. Okay, brush through the ends. Scissors again. We're gonna cut at a curve. And I'm cutting off at least a good couple inches. We all love a good couple inches. Cut. It's still too long. And I don't want to have like a long body wave. I want like a nice tight curl. And to all the cosmetologists watching this, I hope this makes you cringe. <laughs> okay, here we go. So it's angles backwards like that. Like a bull, gorgeous. All right, now let's bring that back down. Jesus, what did I do to myself here? Okay, Ugh, there we go. Perfect haircutting techniques for all the Brad Mondos out there. This is for you. I'm going to prep this for setting. I'll be right <laughs> back. Alrighty, let's get started on rolling up this wig. Now the curl pattern I did on the Wigs by Vanity Victory Rolls, it's almost the exact same thing. Now I under rolled these two front rollers and do the same to this side. And since this wig line, the lace doesn't go really deep back, I'm pulling a little bit from the tracks as well. So we can have more volume to like rat down. And like, you see it for yourself, like demo it. That's how it's gonna victory roll up on there. So that's the amount of hair you have to work with, with teasing and everything. You gotta factor that stuff in. Now let's just finger part it. So again, it doesn't have to be crazy, crazy accurate. I mean, if you want it to be, by all means do that. But with this, I mean, it's all gonna tease down anyway, so I'm not really worried about it. So just gonna make sure my rollers are even. Okay, now the back is simple. Exact same curling pattern as any other vintage hairstyle. We just wanna have some nice under curls, sort of like a page boy. So I'm not gonna focus too much on making sure the rollers all meet up here. They're gonna be mostly focused back here. Start parting it. And again, I'm not worried about crazy volume up here, so I'm not gonna like brush upward. Because a lot of this is just gonna get packed down so it can be a ponytail and the volume's gonna be in the back. So I'll roll a couple for you and then I'll come back after I've steamed it and dried it. <laughs> All righty, now she is cool to the touch. Well, cool enough, I'm gonna time crunch here. I'm gonna take down our curls. Uh, this was the curl pattern in case you didn't see. It's your basic setback, and then I have the two under rolls here, and at the top it's two setbacks for the bangs. Easy, easy, easy. But just pause the video and pick up where you left off. All right, I'm gonna take all these down. See, I love this. It kind of reminds me, if you're a comic book geek, do you ever see the Phantom Lady, like from the 1950s when she's drawn all sexy? That's my favorite incarnation of her. Oh, yes. I didn't even try and those waves came out gorgeous. I almost don't want to disturb. Well, I'm gonna have to disturb them anyway, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, take our comb. We're gonna do some bit. Almost dropped it. We're gonna do some base teasing to it. But yeah, if you just do that and just hairspray the crap out of it, you don't even have to do base teasing if you don't want to. This is just something I do for my own head size. But I love this it's like comic book black hair, where it's like blue ink to make the black to like make it look like it's reflecting the light. So gorgeous illustration black hair. If you ever look at the old comic books of Wonder Woman, that's how her hair always looks. They ink it with blue, so it looks like the light is reflecting off of it. Little art geek kind of knowledge for you. That used to be one of my obsessions was Wonder Woman. I used to want to like write comic books, but like in the style of like 1950s comic books. Like Wonder Woman, the Phantom Lady, all those great divas of, of yesteryear. Or like Wonder Woman when she was mod in the 60s and they took her powers away and she knew Kung Fu. Ugh, so fierce. That was one of my favorite years of Wonder Woman. I guess like it was kind of controversial at that time because in the 60s, Gloria Steinem and the women's movement was starting up. So they like made a huge like, you know, statement about it in Miss Magazine saying how they took the strongest woman in the world and took all her powers away. But I question whether or not Gloria Steinem actually read those comics because they were fabulous. And it was Wonder Woman like rediscovering her power you know, through other means besides, you know, just having magical powers of strength. You know, I question, I question.
All right, now I am just smoothing down what I teased out. Again, I'm not doing major teasing on this. It's just the base tease to give it a little bit of a bump in the back. Nothing insane, because all the volume is really gonna be up here in this section and all in the way in the back in the bump, like the bun. So, again, I'm not focusing too much on the back of the head, just getting it nice and smooth down with a little bit of volume. And once we get it to a smoothness that we like, we are going to tie it off and come back to it later. The back is really the easiest part. Okay, now I'm pulling it into a pony and just doing my last moves. A little more encouraging spray too while you're at it. All right, fabulous. Now I'm gonna take my teasing brush and small sections, hold it up and start packing it down. All right, we're gonna create a nice vintage comic book inspired hairdo. Something like a superhero and would have. Silk Spectre if she had style. <laughs> I live for that Silk Spectre from the 50s in the movie. Oh my God, she was fierce. The most impractical costumes you'd ever seen. <laughs> and she was based off the Phantom Lady who was basically, you know, kind of a walking parody of herself because the costumes she wore were so revealing in the 1950s and 60s. That is like, Girl, you're literally wearing a plunging neckline bathing suit with high heel boots <laughs> to fight crime. This is not practical. A bathing suit with a cape. <laughs> I love it. She's like, you know, fighting crime is important, but you know what else is important? Fashion. And what I always thought was fascinating about her is that her covers became really controversial at that time because it actually was some of the things responsible for getting comic books, you know, regulated because they were deemed, you know, deviant by, you know, the comic book code and people like Dr. Frederick Wortham, who was like, you know, a legendary player hater and, you know, the male equivalent of like Mr. Crumplebottom from The Sims, where they're just such a prude, went on a crusade in the name of children and all this and innocence. Honestly, kept art from being interesting when it came to comic books. That was like the threatening thing at that time. They thought it would corrupt America's young people. And the Phantom Lady was no exception from this terror because the way she was drawn, like I said, she was always drawn in very revealing costumes and she was always put in like very provocative like peril. And you see it in artwork now because I believe like, you know, they pulled their inspiration from people like Betty Page. All right, bang time. So here we go. Right, I'm seeing where it is, where the curls are landing. So I'm gonna cut a little bit more. Now let's tease those up because I wanna get rid of the part that's in here. The bangs, we're just going to smooth out the ends and try and get the outside as smooth as possible and under roll it. It's really, really simple. It's the easiest part of this, this whole thing. Just like that. It's presentable. Wow, it's magic. Like I said, the rest of it is not going to come as easy as that does. <laughs> but this is all just, you know, support from teasing and cutting the bangs appropriate long length, not really, really short. Otherwise you'll get like, you know, there won't be as impressive. This is a, what they call a faux bang. What I'm going to do right now is make sure this is really, really tacked down. So I'm gonna take a little bit more pins and just to give it some more support on that side. There we go. That has a lot more support now. And take this in my hand and we're gonna take our pick and from behind, we are going to push down teasing to create a good solid base. Because all this is gonna work in our favor to make nice, pretty victory rolls. Now, for the ends. Once I have the surface level all smoothed the way I like it, <laughs> Took it right off. <laughs> My bad. All right. And just kind of mold it like that. And we're going to start rolling it under. You're going to repeat this process a couple different times until you get it to a part where you don't hate it. That's victory rolls for you. And again, you could do a victory roll or you could even bring the hair back like that and start doing like ringlet curls at the top. I've done that before. Actually, now that I think about it, that's actually a prettier idea. I should do that. Let's do that instead. 
Yes. Create like cat ears like it, like that. Yeah, that'd be prettier. We've already done victory rolls. Let's have a little more fun. Oh, you thought I was gonna do victory rolls? I lied. Now again, I'm doing these with the bright blonde pen so you can see it. Otherwise I'd use like dark black. I'm considerate. I'm a generous queen. All right, now let's do our other side. And smooth it and smooth it and smooth <laughs> it. Whew, I'm back, girl, it is hot as hell in here, all right? Now it's time to the top and the back, and we're gonna be done, okay? So, here's what we do. We take our top curls up here, and we decide what we wanna do with them. Just to tangle them some, and this is where you can have the most fun in the world. Like, you can roll them and lay them down any way you want. Like, you can do, you know, a fun little crazy shape like that. You can do, like, you know, a bouffant in the back. It's completely up to you. And where the hell I feel this wig takes me. Ugh, the options are honestly limitless. And honestly, all I did to get this was just pin back the hair some and then leave some hair out so that you can style it. Or if you want to get crazy with it, combine it with the front and get an even bigger bang. Like, ugh, there's so many options here. Okay, so what I am going to do is I think I'm going to do some crazy curls. Because why not? All right, take a couple pins. Eh, get out of there. All right, now for the back section of curls. Like you can curl it under and do a page boy or you can do what I'm gonna do. Take my pick and just pack down some of those curls a bit. Loosely pack them so it creates a bush in the back. And you don't lose those ringlet curls too much. And to make sure they don't go anywhere, spray them. Pack it with your fingers and spread it out. And with that packing too, what we can do is we can take some bobbies, preferably the longer ones, but I only have these little ones right now. And we're gonna take that section and pin it to the back of the ponytail and it's gonna keep it up. And now we're using the hair to decorate the back of the head. Pretty. And just disguise your bobby pins with the curls. Then spray it some more, rub down our ends and Pack in the hair. And if you have the hairnet still, you can do this, which is very, very vintage to do. And you can use this and it also protects the bun. If you want to get real crazy, you can put hair pins in it like that. Like decorative bobby pins. I'm using <laughs> pins, you don't want to do that. But like if you have a decorative bobby pin, you could stick those in the back. Or flowers like baby's breath. That'd be really pretty around here. Now, this is the hairstyle. I am done. I'm going to try her on and I'm going to be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Oh my God, this is the final result. And I have to say, I am obsessed. <laughs> this hair color is gorgeous. And like I said, it's that perfect shade of like comic book, you know, inked black with the blue undertone. Loved it so much. Oh my God, I feel like Wonder Woman in this wig. Anyways, I have to say the Tokyo Styles collection from Bellamy Hair is James Mansfield approved. <laughs> oh my God, I am obsessed with this. It's so pretty. Such a great vintage hairstyle. And like I said, that set in part is not a permanent thing, girl. You can get rid of that if you want to. Now this wig is fabulous, but it is just missing one more thing. The James Mansfield Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give this wig a... God damn it. <laughs> Let's just give this wig a spritz. Ah, now my hair smells just like cream soda. Available at blackphoenixalchemylab.com. Now I'd like to take a moment, a Ben moment, where I think everyone is tip me on Venmo. Jane's Mansell took too long to read off her Ven moments. Jane's Mansell doesn't care about her fans. Give me a break. I'm reading them right now. I would like to thank Russ. Thank you, Russ. <laughs> again and again, sweetheart. James. Oh my God, James, you're fabulous too. Thank you. <laughs> and can't out Sylvia. No, Sylvia gets nothing. She's paying me for services owed. And let's see, I have some PayPal monies from, oh, I have Catherine. Thank you, Catherine. Oh, and Michael. Thank you. Thank you all so much for the tips on Venmo and the PayPal money. 
Your tips truly go towards making this channel greater. Oh my God, thank you guys so much. Now don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Click here and watch me talk about queer cinema and use the kimchi beauty palette. Or see me style a wig from Jane's Mansfield Beauty like Jenny's from Blackpink. How you like that, that? Okay, I'll stop. If you don't click it, I'll sacrifice you to a cult run by Johnny Knoxville. So click it.